What's up, peers, and welcome here back to the World Crypto Network, where we continue our showcase of such a beautiful marketplace that is the BISC Decentralized Exchange. And specifically today, we will show how to take a order which Hal Finney has created yesterday. Uh, so for this, let's share the screen here. And we are here on the client of Satoshi himself uh, and here the client of Halfini, who has yesterday made this order uh, for 0 0.0098 Bitcoin. Uh, and now if Satoshi wants to sell a couple Bitcoin, he can switch to the sell Bitcoin tab and see that there are uh, a couple uh, or one order specifically by this trader. Do you see something? There is not a name, just a onion address, right? And he can see, of course, the price and the Bitcoin amount and the euro amount plus the payment method. So if Satoshi decides to take this offer, he again gets this notification that there is a rounded fiat value, right, uh, to 30 bucks. And then he can, if the order would be bigger, he could set a specific amount. Uh, so if he does not want to uh, buy or sell that much Bitcoin, for example, if the entire order was one Bitcoin and he would only want to sell 0 0.1 Bitcoin, he could specify this here. He can also choose again the, the, uh, uh, the currency in which he will pay the fee, either Bitcoin or BSQ. And again, BSQ is really one of, one of these tokens and coins that is, that is really very interesting and we will look much more into that in the future. Uh, and if, let's say, Satoshi really wants to do this trade, he can click on the next step. And also Satoshi has to do a deposit. Um, so first of all, there's the trade amount, uh, which he will have to deposit. Uh, and then the security deposit of 0 0.003 Bitcoin. Um, so that is 30% of the trade account compared to the 10% that Halfini, the buyer of Bitcoin, has set. There's a 0.5% fee and a rather large mining fee. Um, of course, that depends on the current situation of the mempool. And because we are selling almost no Bitcoin here, the percentage amount is rather large. Uh, but the total fee is really just uh, the trading fee uh, here that goes to the BISC DAO. Uh, and so we see here again, Satoshi himself needs to deposit funds. Uh, and that is in total, uh, oh yeah, let me uh, scan the QR code here. So, and it is 1.3 million Satoshis, uh, quite a couple Satoshis, well, that Satoshi has to send. Uh, and here on my testnet wallet on the phone, uh, I will press send and payment is out and it is here received on uh, this trading one. Uh, now we can go on review the offer to sell Bitcoin and again look over this page in detail and triple check that everything is correct. So Satoshi here is selling Bitcoin which means he is buying euro. Uh, exactly 0 0.0098 Bitcoin which is 30 euros at this specific price with the SEPA payment method. This is the hash or the order ID, the maker's onion address, that is Halfini right here, the creation date and the corresponding security deposits, both of Hal, the Bitcoin buyer, and Satoshi, the Bitcoin seller. Uh, and it is a German bank account with, again, the arbitrator's uh, onion address, which we'll talk about in the future. Uh, and there is already a, a fee transaction ID, which is right here. And again, this is a private contract. Never ever break private promises and contracts. Terms and conditions do apply. With the taking this offer, I, Satoshi Nakamoto, agree to the trade conditions as defined in this screen. And again, once you press confer confirm, this is a no bullshit zone, okay? So really go through and stick with the trades uh, as soon as you press confirm here. Uh, so when we do this, we see that it takes a bit because it's over Tor. Uh, but then as soon as it is done, here on Halfini's screen, uh, the order is no longer open, uh, but now here in the open, uh, in the open trade. So we have initiated the trading process. 
right? And same has happened here with Satoshi's. We can go on portfolio and open trades. And what we are waiting now is the block confirmation time, right? Because we're working with on-chain transactions. No lightning speed yet on BISC because uh, multi-sig is difficult uh, with lightning. Uh, but this means that we now have to wait for at least one block confirmation, uh, but probably even better uh, to wait for several blocks, like six blocks, especially for larger amounts, because we really want to make sure uh, to not get double spent. But all the funds, all the, in, all the uh, security deposits of both Satoshi and Hell, of course, the Bitcoin itself that Satoshi is selling uh, to Hell Finney here, um, is all in a multi-signature uh, with one key Satoshi, one key Halfini, and the third key of the arbitrator. Again, this entire process we'll uh, discuss in detail in one of the upcoming videos. But Pierce, that truly is it. That is how easily you can, as we said in the last video, create an offer and how Satoshi can take the offer uh, now here. And in the next video tomorrow, we will go into detail on how to do the euro payments and then release the funds, the Bitcoin, out of this multi-signature and fully complete the private and voluntary and mutually beneficial trade on this beautiful free market platform, which is BISC. If you are not yet excited on how easy and convenient this user experience is, uh, then, well, I don't know how to help you, but this is what true freedom tastes like. And, oh, it is delicious. <laughs> Piers, thank you very much for joining me here again on the World Crypto Network, where we do an in-depth analysis of the BISC training platform. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you find this valuable. If so, leave a like, leave a comment, be active in the community. Join us on the Slacks, on the Telegrams, on the Twitters, uh, and ask the questions because that is the only way that you can accumulate the information and try to understand it. Uh, so if you have questions, feel free to reach out to any of us and we will have very gladly support you in your path of understanding. Thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.